What's up guys, it is your boy Catharsix and welcome to another tutorial video for FIFA 21. This was a request for uh, from Jay, uh, he asked how did I get Maradona in career mode in my uh, player career simulation for Maradona. You can check that video, it's gonna be on the top right if you wanna take a look at how Mar Maradona's career would be re-simulated in FIFA 21. And of course, rest in peace for the legend. Unfortunately, he died yesterday. So um, yeah, we lost another legend this year, which is horrible and we're all waiting for this year finally to come to an end. But, so Jay, um, uh, as I said, I'm gonna, it was a bit difficult to explain in the comments, so I decided to make a quick video about it. It's got, gonna be easier than just uh, writing about it. Um, this is applicable for any other icon and um, it's gonna be a bit more complicated than usual because I like placing the icons in latest squads, not loading the squad that, uh, you know, Arnak 2 or other guys place, uh, like the last one is November 13th, I believe. So I like placing them in the latest squad available. So that is what we're gonna do today. And guys, before we get into it, uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, if you like the video and hit that bell to be notified about any new videos that drop, I am gonna work on some new content and put it out. I hope you will find it interesting. So let's get into the video here. Uh, I'm here in FIFA. First thing we're gonna do guys is just download the latest squad and save them because as I said, we're gonna use the latest squads to um, impl import the icon into the latest squad and I will be using Maradona as an example uh, kind of to honor him and because that's what Jay asked me to do uh, to, to just show how I got Maradona in that career mode. So I downloaded the latest squads now we just go to profile and hit save squads. As you can see my uh, it, it's gonna usually create the squad file when you download the update I just usually go there and save it manually just to make sure it's there um, and yeah. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna load the icon squad as well. Link for the icon squad is gonna be in the description. Why we're using the icon squad is because not all squads are available immediately in FIFA's database to uh, move them around uh, through our DVM. So we use this squad file to get all the icons available to us. So you just go to your FIFA 21 documents and then settings and uh, you will place the uh, this uh, I, I can file with 15 at the end of it because that's uh, the one that has all the icons in it. Uh, there are other versions where you have just, uh, you know, the icons in their prime or when they were younger. I just use this uh, which has all of them and then we will just go in FIFA and you will see the icon file there. Just load it up and now we have all the icons available to us in the game. Now the next thing that we will do, just load the squad um, and what we will do now is just transfer uh, Maradona into another club where you want to put him in career mode. I will just use, um, I will use Napoli as an example, he's a legend of Napoli so let's just use Napoli here. So you just go uh, to Maradona, I will use his version when he was uh, younger. It's 99, 91 overall, and uh, I will show you later why I'm gonna use the version of him when he was younger, because his prime version is already in the game, and I will show it to you uh, in our DBM. So we will use this one, so I can show you how you can use any player, basically, that is available in this icon squad file. So we transferred Maradona into Napoli, let's just verify it real quick. And I mean, for some of you, if you're okay with using the uh, the these icons um, in these squads, like not the latest ones, but in the squad that is available there, you can use it like that. You can just use RDBM to no, um, modify their age because in this squad file, they're basically the age that they are nowadays. Of course, Maradona's 60 was 60 uh, until he died yesterday. So. Let's just go ahead and uh, link for our DBM, of course, is going to be in the description. So first we are going to load the icons file. First, we are going to load the icons file so we can extract Maradona from the icons file 
and then we're gonna import him into the latest squad. So just uh, give it a couple of moments to load, sometimes it can be a bit um, slower. So here is the squad file in RDBM and we're now going, gonna go to a sheet which contains all IDs for players and teams and everything. So the uh, link is also gonna be in the description for this sheet. Just click on player ID, paste Maradona's ID and as you can see, it's gonna load him there. And uh, as you saw, the 190042 uh, is his prime and 237073 is his uh, younger version and both are uh, available in this squad file. Now we're gonna hit an extract and just uh, extract this sheet and uh, extract it as I just added players uh, icons so we can um, kind of differentiate the two because we're gonna extract the regular squads file the latest as well you can close this one out now and then we will load the other one that's the latest squads without the um, legends in them and uh, it's gonna say the file name in the top right as you can see this is squads one and the previous one was named icons all so that's how you want to verify that you're in the correct one um, so let's get into it now as I said, it takes some time, uh, a bit longer to load it. Sometimes it might even crash the RDBM, but it's okay. So now we will go to players uh, squads in squads one, and I want to show you that uh, it doesn't work, that you don't have the younger Maradona in squads one. So as you can see, prime Maradona, when you uh, select, I, yeah, I forgot to select player ID. So just click on the player ID. Doesn't matter which one, it's just important to says it, say it there. And then you see Prime Maradona is available in the latest squads as well from FIFA. But when you try and uh, use the base Maradona when he was younger, it's not gonna be there. So we want to implement the young Maradona that we extracted from the icons file into the latest squads. So now we're gonna in export single table for this um, regular squad file and then we are going to copy Maradona from the icons file into this squad file. I'm gonna use Excel, it's easiest to use Excel but uh, there are some free versions out there, uh, free programs that are similar to Excel, it's gonna work uh, either way and there is also an e easier way maybe to do it that I will show later. But uh, this way I wanted to show you how you can extract the tables because this way you can do bulk editing and stuff like that. It's easier than um, sometimes than just doing a single row. So now you just browse to the file. First we're gonna open the icons file. Just make sure to select there that you can open all files. And just select the players, um, player, players icons txt. And it's gonna ask you text import, uh, do you wanna use the limited? You can just click finish and it's gonna implement it um, as it should. Now that we are in the player's icons file, it's basically the table that we extracted from our DBM. What you wanna do now is hit control F to find Maradona uh, in this file, base Maradona, just hit on that uh, button on the far left it's going to select the whole row just quick control c to copy and then we will open the players um, text file for you know to that we will implement into the squad file and then just scroll downwards until you get to an empty row that we will then paste maradona into the first empty row that we find here in the players.txt so here is it here it is just click on that to select the whole row control v or just right click and paste and it's going to be there now to just get hit control s to save it it's going to ask you if you want to save it as unicode text just hit yes and you will save maradona base um, base player in this squad file text so we go back to our dbm into our squads one file um the latest squads file and now we're going to import single table and we're importing the players txt that we saved maradona to and now when you hit player id and when you search for him he's going to appear on the bottom of the table where we pasted him and now he's going to be 
um, is going to exist in this quad file as well, not just the one um, that we loaded, downloaded basically the icons quad file. We also need to edit his name. Uh, so here in edited player names, just enter his player ID. So it's uh, 237073. And you just want to um, hit his first name, Diego, and player jersey name and surname are gonna be Maradona. If you were using Ronaldinho, for an example, you would use the common name as well and put Ronaldinho there, but Maradona is known for his last name, so no need for that now. Just hit save, and now we have Maradona in the latest squad file with his proper name and last name. If you didn't do this, it would just have some other name, some generic name, but this way it's, he's gonna have his name. And um, yeah, that's... So yeah, one more thing, we want to edit his age as well because we don't want him to be 60 when we start the career. So just go to players and here you have birth date and just set the birth date to whatever you prefer. I was just said put it to 1999, doesn't matter. So we can just see the change inside of the save. One more thing that we want to do is just link Maradona to Napoli like we did. Um, we transferred him, if you remember, that squad icons file. So now we want to copy his link with Napoli from that squad file into the latest squad file. And I'm going to show you the different way that you can do it, not using the Excel table. So you just go to team player links, paste his player ID. It's going to show him there, hit that bot button on the left side, and then you will just hit copy inside of RDBM. You, you have the button to copy there on the top, just hit copy record and just close out the squad file. It's gonna keep it copied, don't you worry, you don't have to save anything, just close it, uh, and then open the latest squad file. When you open the latest squad file, you will also go to, um, to the same button, where you added basically player links with their teams. Just wait it for, for, wait for it to open. Let's see if it crashes. If it sometimes it will get stuck, you can just uh, close it and then reopen it. This time it went through, but sometimes it will get stuck. Let's go to team player links. And uh, same thing as in Excel, just scroll down to the first available um, available row, like, like so. And we will just paste his team player link with Napoli. Sorry, I'm retarded here. <laughs> trying to get to the latest one, but yeah, there we go. My mouse is a bit sensitive there. So now we, you will just paste the record and that's it. Now we have Maradona in our latest squad file. Now we will go back to FIFA just to verify if everything took effect. I will also open one quick career mode so to show you that it works in game, it's not gonna crash or anything, and we will see Maradona in the game. So we are back in FIFA. We'll just navigate to the team sheets and just um, actually profile to load the squads. So we're using squads one, latest squads. So we will just have Maradona, young Maradona in the latest squad file uh, that is available. So let's go to career. Uh, actually, sorry, we won't go to career immediately. Let's go to team sheets first, just to verify that he is actually in Napoli and that we have him there. So let's go to Italy and then Napoli to see if we can find Maradona uh, there, since we did everything prior to checking this. There he is, 21 years old, Maradona with his younger base version, 91 overall rated, and he's, as you can see, his um, player face and game face is also from when he was 21. So, uh, actually, I'm not sure if he was 21, what was the, you know, the exact time, but doesn't matter. Let's go to now to a career mode just to verify we can select Napoli and that Maradona is going to be there and we can actually get into a game with him. I'll just advance, doesn't really matter before the settings. Let's load it up real quick. And I'll just save it to, doesn't really matter for the test one. This is fine. And let's just put him into a squad. Uh, we'll keep Mertens in, let's say Lozano. And we'll get Maradona in there. Save it. 
and let's get to the first game just to get into the game so you can see it won't crash or anything if it crasher, crashes or anything maybe you didn't do some step uh, correctly just go through it one more time and of course comment down below if you have any questions or doubts i will gladly answer it as you can see jay asked for <laughs> for help about it i made a video in the same day sometimes i might might not be able to do it in the same day but i will do my best to uh, do it as soon as possible so i can help you guys if you need anything uh, now we'll, we're getting into the game and as you can see it's not crashing there's maradona let's do a couple of dribbles with him okay let's see if i can maybe do something here really nice <laughs> Let's see if I can maybe even score. Let's try a couple more dribbles. I went through, but I missed it. Okay, it would be legendary if I scored there immediately. But as you can see, Maradona is in game, young version of him, and nothing is crashing. Everything is working perfectly fine. So, guys, I hope that everything was clear. Uh, as I said, if you have any questions or doubts, don't. Um, hesitate to comment down below if you like the video like it share and subscribe once again for any new videos that drop i have a career risk simulation for maradona already i have ramos as a uh, sergio ramos as a striker whole career simulation and a series with cristiano ronaldo when he was younger basically playing him in manchester so check them out if you have time um, and new videos will drop very soon so guys, once again, thank you for watching this. I hope it was helpful. Have a great rest of the day or night and have a wonderful life, guys. Bye-bye.